Hello guys, here I will show you how to use my Euro 2016 schedule and score sheet. As you know, there is a change in this year tournament format where there will be a 24 countries that will participate in this tournament compared with 16 countries in the previous tournament in 2012. To start using worksheet, first you have to set language and time zone if you don't want to use this default language and time zone. You can select language from plenty of language option here, uh, but you can also change to your own language if you think the translation is not uh, good enough. Because I'm using a Google translation tool to translate all the words in this spreadsheet. To change the language to your own language, you can set here to the new language and then go to the custom language and time zone and then type your own translation in this column. You can also change the time zone to your own city if you cannot find your city in this time zone list. Choose new city in the time zone list and then go to custom language and time zone worksheet. Then you can change this plus or minus based on your time different with Paris. Plus is ahead of Paris time, minus is behind Paris time. After you set these two, you can start typing score. Okay, I'll put myself France versus Romania. Three, two, Albania, Switzerland. You can continue typing this course after every match is completed. After you finish typing all scores in group stages, you can see the final standing of each group. Group winners and runner-ups will advance automatically, while only four of third places that will go to the knockout stages. I put distinct colors for every group. It is used to inform you from which group the country that advanced to the knockout rounds. You can continue now typing the score in this bracket. There are only two score boxes in this bracket. Full time score boxes here and penalty score boxes that will be shown automatically if the full time score is drawn. I will continue to put dummy scores here. See, penalty score boxes is on because the score is drawn here. You can see team's name, uh, country's name, background, color, and flag will be automatically sewn up. Okay, now continue typing the scores. And when you finish typing the final score, you will see champion box filled with 
country who won the final match. Okay, that's all guys. Simple isn't it? You can start doing it by yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.